What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Coach Joe here with Heartletics.com. Today is going to be a different one for you. We're going to be talking about the top five quotes from Jesus Christ, my Lord, my Savior. And we're going to dive right into this one because uh, these Bible verses give me a lot of peace. These Bible verses give me a lot of uh, clarity, gives me hope gives me faith it, it, it just it just helps out and hopefully these five quotes from Jesus these five Bible verses can um, also just inspire you as well if you need it you know you're kind of feeling kind of you know and I don't know maybe there's a lot of stress in your life or you know you kind of feel like you're in a black cloud so to speak or just life's throwing some curveballs some storms your way some challenges you know let these Bible verses kind of help you. Um, as so much as they do to me. So the first one is, and know that I am with you always. Yes, to the end of time. That is coming from Matthew 28, 20. And um, once again, these Bible verses, you know, are coming from Jesus. And um, they're just inspiring. They're comforting. You know, and I feel like as generally, right, as men, <laughs> we have a hard time um, getting comfort from others, getting comfort from, you know, something that we firmly believe in and have faith and have trust in. And so whatever it is that you have faith and you have trust in, um, you know, you need to get comfort from that. You know, you need it. And as guys, once again, I feel like this is one area that we lack in the most. You know, we really do. Um, the second Bible verse, you know, like Jesus says, a new command I give you. Love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. This is coming from John 13, 34 through 35. And uh, once again, I love it just because in terms of, if you ever think about it, at least what I do, <laughs> I get down these rabbit holes. You know, why are we here? What is the meaning of life? You're like, what, what, what is the purpose? And um, especially when, you know, life is so dramatic with all the roller coaster rides the ups the lows the just life in general you always kind of wonder like what is the purpose you know and i just love this bible verse because what jesus is is saying you know out of all the different commandments right just love one another and i think just once again us getting more emotionally involved with maybe not so much caring about just ourselves but more so focus on helping others Maybe that's our family members. Maybe that's our friends. Maybe that's our community. Maybe it's our coworkers. Whatever the case may be, it's it's loving, right? It's it's helping out others. And um, I feel like the world could be a better place if we all were more focused on that rather than being so selfish, you know, half the time. The third quote coming from Jesus is, For what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and suffer the loss of his soul? And this one is uh, this one is actually you know a personal one for me, and this is Bible verses coming from you know Mark um, eight thirty six. And the reason why this is a personal one for me is because, you know, with me as a business owner, obviously you look at all these numbers, right? Revenue, margin, profits, like all this stuff, and you get addicted to it. You know, it's kind of like a a game of life where it's like, oh, you know, you're 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 uncapped. You know, and so it's like as a business owner, you always want to, you know, get more, right? How do I grow this thing? How do I really leave a legacy? Everything like this. But so much so that sometimes you forget that it's taken you off course of other things that matter the most, right? I can say hands down, like I focus a lot more on my business and growing it more so than I should with my family, you know, spending that quality time with them. More so than I, I, I'm in the word, right? Reading the Bible. Um, I put my business on a pedestal, right? And I focus, focus, focus so much. And so having this, right, as a Bible verse and a, a daily reminder, it keeps me on the right track. Knowing that, hey, there are finer things in life than just, you know, making money and, you know, providing a great service and helping, you know, change and transform, you know, people's lives. Where it's like, don't focus so much on the shiny object, where it takes you off course of like what matters most, you know, at least that's how that Bible verse once again relates to me. The fourth quote come from Jesus in Matthew 6, 34. 
He says, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Let the day's own trouble be sufficient for the day. And I love that because so much times, right, we're all focused, right, on tomorrow. We're always focused on, you know, tomorrow's worries and, you know, this stress and this and this and this, where it takes us off course of the present moment, you know, plain and simple. Um, And and once again, this is something where it's a, a personal thing for me. This is why it's my top five, you know, favorite, where these inspire me because so much times I don't want to be focused on tomorrow's worries and tomorrow's stress where we're not even promised tomorrow anyways so it's like i gotta just focus on today's hand right like what do i need to focus on today in terms of operations what i have to do to you know move the needle forward in terms of the business in terms of everything uh but also how can i become the best version of myself mentally and physically how can i pour into myself more uh, or fill myself up more so i can pour more out into others you know, and then the last quote um, coming from John 14, 1, Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. And I love that. And it's just once again, um, you got to have faith, right? You, you have to have faith. You have to have belief in, in something, right? Where it's it, and I think the reason why it's so beneficial to have faith is because it takes the pressure off you, you know, knowing that, Hey, everything's going to be okay. The bills are going to be paid. The business is going to grow, right? Like, you know, lives are going to get changed and transform, you know, me and my family, we're always going to be healthy. And like having that uh, as a good understanding, it's like, you need to have that faith, understanding that it's all going to work out in the end, so to speak. It's all going to work out, you know? And so once again, I love these Bible verses. And um, with Jesus being such a huge role model, uh, my Lord, my Savior, you know, my Redeemer for my sins, I I figured, hey, let's make a a podcast a little bit different and uh, give some credit here. And these are, once again, just five top quotes coming from Jesus Christ that really inspire me. And hopefully um, it can inspire you as well. If you got any value at all, any inspiration, um, let's, let's share the word. Let's, uh, let's share this episode, share with somebody that might need it. And, um, if you guys don't mind, um, giving this a video, if you're watching, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, giving this video a thumbs up subscribing. And then if you're watching this or listening to it on Spotify or iTunes, then once again, I appreciate your support as well. As always guys, this has been coach Joe with heartletics.com and I'll talk to you next time. Peace out girl scouts.